Hi everyone, Just for Sweets here. So these freezer meals people are really liking, so I decided I would do one of my very favorites, which is buffalo chicken. And if you go back and check out my channel, you can see that I do a lot of different things with buffalo chicken. Um, I have a, lot, a few different recipes on my page. A buffalo chicken sandwich or sub. Um, I can't remember what the other ones are because they were so far back, but go ahead and check those out. So we're going to do buffalo chicken. I'm inspired to do this one today because um, I have two daughters whose birthdays are within five days of each other. So one of their birthdays is today. That would be Casey, the one you've seen on YouTube, my little one. Um, it's her birthday today. And then in five days, it is her sister's birthday, which is my next youngest, and she's going to be 16. Hmm. So... Um, and though they both enjoy chicken wings very much so. In fact, tonight we are having chicken wings from a local pizza place because that is Casey's favorite thing to eat. So um, that's what inspired me today to do this one. So all you need for this is some uh, black pepper. I have two tablespoons of melted butter. I would not say to use margarine. If you want to use margarine, it's up to you. I just prefer butter. Um, it tastes better to me, but, uh, and then you need some, uh, red hot wing sauce. And if you don't have the Frank's red hot wing sauce, you can buy a different brand. In fact, I've told you this in the past. If you go to the dollar store, uh, they carry a wing sauce there and that one actually tastes super, super good too. So whatever you want to, whatever you want to do to pinch some pennies and then um, some chicken breasts and an extra baggie because these are uh, left over from my chicken curry frozen meal and I'm just kind of utilizing everything. So I have an extra baggie. I'm gonna write today's date on there as usual. You wanna do that so that you know when you put it in there and what the contents of the package are. You can even put the servings if you want to but I pretty much do you know, the serving size that I know, you know, for the people that are going to be here. So um, I would not suggest using any more than four chicken breasts in this baggie. I am going to go ahead and probably do three because these are fairly large. As you saw yesterday, they're ginormous. So I'm going to stick those in there. I'm going to put three chicken breasts. And I have one that's a little bit smaller in here so I can leave two large ones because that is plenty of chicken for us whether there's three or four of us. That's plenty. Plus we probably have some leftovers. Okay. So I got my, my three chicken breasts in there. I still have two left for another meal so I, I really made a lot out of my $10 pack of chicken breasts. Put that in the sink. You don't want to put that on the counter. All right, this is so simple, you're not gonna believe it. All we're gonna do is pour that melted butter in there, kind of coat the chicken with it. And I like to do this, I mean, it's already a wing sauce, but wing sauce always has tons of butter in it. So I wanna do this to flavor that chicken up, and I'm also gonna pour some pepper on there and just get everything together. So go ahead and pour your melted butter. Now what you're gonna do is put as much pepper as you like to taste. Now remember your wing sauce is hot already, so or spicy, so the more pepper you put, the spicier it's gonna get. And at this point, if you want it spicier, you could add cayenne pepper to it if you really wanted to, to spice it up a little bit more. I am not going to add salt because the wing sauce already has a lot of salt in it to me, so I'm just gonna leave that ingredient out. We don't need to eat any extra salt, so Go ahead and take your wing sauce and you're going to use approximately a half a bottle of this. So you can get two meals out of this bottle, which is 12 ounces. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour that in. All right. So you can see that I used about a half a bottle. And all you want to do is kind of mush it around so that everything spreads together. get the air out of it and then I'm gonna stick this in the freezer now when we go to make this we have so many options we can do but if if we make it just as our buffalo chicken we'll put put this in a, a greased pan uh, probably just like a 13 by 9 inch pan 
Um, it's already got the butter in it, so you don't need to put any spray grease or anything. And put it in there and bake it at 375 degrees for about 25 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. You want to check it and make sure it's done. And then I usually take the wing sauce and I pour extra on it when I pull it out of the oven and it kind of coats it as it cools, it kind of coats it and you've got that extra zing to it. So um, that's all they have to do. If I'm not here, pull it out of the, I'll pull it out of the freezer in the morning, they'll stick it in the pan, bake it, pour a little bit of extra wing sauce and then put a side of vegetables or salad with it. Uh, salad with ranch is really, really good to go with this. You can even just create a salad with your buffalo chicken. So that's my buffalo chicken freezer meal. I'll put the ingredients in the description box below. I hope you get a chance to make it. It is absolutely delicious. You will love it. And uh, feel free to uh, ask me any questions or leave comments in the comment box. I hope you give me a thumbs up on this. Share this on your Facebook page and uh, join my Facebook page as well. I have two of them just for sweets and for recipes like this. You would find those on my group page recipe book. And until next time, next video, have a wonderful day, everyone, and God bless.